Alright, this is how to balance a low wing plane. As you can see, I set the marks. I don't know if you're ever going to be able to read the marks here. But uh, I'm set at four and a quarter right now. That's kind of what you're going to want. Four and a quarter to like five and a quarter for extreme 3D. To get this plane in the sky and to be comfortable with it for your first time, you want to, might want to start between four and a quarter and four and a half. Uh, you could just do the finger method on the plane to balance it. And that's basically you're going to flip the plane upside down and just hold your fingers right underneath right where your spar is here. Um, the balance is supposed to be at four and a quarter. Four and a half, I would say, to go with is probably a better one to go with. It's to see how you know it responds and then start moving your weight back as you go along. So I'm going to put it on the balancer so you can see what that is. So now if you're using a balancer, basically it's, uh, you're going to mount your plane upside down on it. And you can see underneath, maybe you can't, it's quite dark, I know. But uh, basically the front of the balancing arms are right here. So you want to take these and put them right to the front of your leading edge. And wherever you have your measurement set is where it's balanced for. So right now mine's set at four and a quarter, so it's tail heavy because it's dropping down. But you want this to be just sitting nice and level. So you just add weight to the nose. Um, I want mine on the tail heavy side. I'm going to hopefully get it around five, five and a quarter for the 3D stuff. But we'll see how that goes. And I'll get it as close there as I can. You can always cut a hole in the back and put some weight back here if you want more tail weight. But uh, I got a 61 FX on mine. So it's going to be, eh, I thought it was going to be a little nose heavy, but it's a little tail heavy, so which is great, which is what I was hoping for. I kind of put some extra weight in the back as I was building, extra glue, that type of stuff, so hopefully it comes out right to where I want it to be. But i got to map my canopy, if you want to pile it, all that kind of stuff inside to drive, go ahead and put them all in and then put it on the balancer. And then set your balance, like I'll set mine for five and see where it goes from there. All right, so the way we're going to set the balance, I want to get mine to five. Basically, you just unscrew the screw on it. And this little piece, I don't know if you can read the numbers on it or not, depending on how dark the film or the camera is. Uh, just move it to where your balance point is. So if you're just starting out, like I said, you want to go to about four and a half, four and a quarter, four and a half, and try it, get it balanced out even there. I'm going to go with five, and I'll show you how we go about finding the balance on it. So now I'm going to mark that down, five. I'll do the same thing on the other side. almost there now. All right. So now I'll turn the model upside down onto the balancer and I'll put the front of the wingtips right to the very front of this. So the wingtip will sit flush up against both of these sides and the model will be balanced to the back part of this. So this is how it goes. Your nose goes forward. You want the angles of the balancer coming backwards. So let's go see what she does. Okay, I got it on the balancer now. I'm set at five and uh, it's still just a little bit tail heavy but that's a good thing. My battery is actually mounted right back here so I can move my battery forward to get it to where I want it to be. But uh, you can just add pennies or a lot of people like to do like the BBs and then melt them down and it makes a nice solid piece. But uh, you just want to get it to balance. And that tells me right there that I'm set at five. So I need to bring my battery forward till I get achieved it. You can, don't know if you can see it. It's all just balancing off the, the floor. So there you go. That's how you balance your airplane. And most of every airplane, you balance them right on the spars. Uh, on a high wing plane, you just take your fingers or whatever, put your balancer, and you put them right on the center spar on the bottom. On a low wing plane, you turn the plane upside down and do it. So there we go. We got a balanced plane at five. I'll move my battery forward until I achieve exactly that, and I'll be balanced at five, and that's where I want to be.